Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at the what you see is what you get editor in IMU eLearning portal which you see here the framework. Basically what we're going to show you is how you can edit your course page or if you add a web page using the portal. So the first thing we're going to show you is how to enter text, how to format text and then we're going to show you how to insert a list and finally we're going to show you how you can insert an image into your course page or web page. Uh, regarding adding tables and adding web uh, links we will show you in other tutorials. Alright, now when you, you get a course from the administrator it might look something like this, a totally blank course. In this case we want to add some uh, pictures and text to the front page so before we do anything or adding anything we have to click turn editing on so let's click it and then you see the page changes and you notice these blue little icons here edit summary you can edit each individual individual topic and add text and images and objectives and titles and so on but in this case we want to edit the topic outline so I'm going to click here and then we come to the editor okay now I could start just entering the text I wanted I got photographic memories I just do it no uh, most of us will probably have done it in Microsoft Word or PowerPoint and we want to copy paste the content here uh, and make it available to students especially like titles and learning outcomes and so on uh, and if you're not a very good typist there's no point retyping it now say that we want to add from Word what we could do is actually copy paste okay and then go back to the editor and paste it and you notice that the editor has the HTML source which see all the uh, rubbish that Microsoft produces when you add straight from Microsoft Word in this case you could use the formatting but still a lot of rubbish there what I usually do is let's just delete all this is actually I copy paste from Microsoft Word into notepad and from notepad I uh, copy it into editor it'll take away all the formatting but it'll keep the, the, the spacing and so on the beauty of it is when you want to edit later uh, the Microsoft uh, back end script will not spoil your efforts and in the long run it actually takes less time a lot of lectures have benefit actually copy paste from Microsoft Word to notepad and so on so let's show you how you can play around with text let's play around with text I select this one I make it bold clicking here bold and then I make it larger I can put it in the middle. Uh, let's make it. Let's color it. Okay, you can do a lot of stuff here. Uh, okay, and we use the horizontal ruler here. Okay, and then we want to create a list. We select the content. You have either ordered list or bulleted list. In this case, I'm going to use ordered list or numbers. Okay, we could uh, increase indent, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, let's just put numbers again now I want to add image here to spice it up I click insert image here okay I've already uploaded some images images to the course folder every course has a course folder with which you can upload anything you want as long as it's 10 megabytes or less okay so I'm gonna select this picture already uploaded here edit one I select it you can preview it here you could edit the width and height but you can do it straight in the editor so no point I want it to be on the right side I select right here okay and then you have to put in all text uh, all text is basically to help uh, people to read if the image does not appear or for people that are blind that using uh, tools like JAWS which uh, reads out uh, anything on the screen so I, this time it's editor we're not gonna usually all text should explain the image exactly okay you can see the image here I actually want to resize it I'm not happy with it and I uh, want to save it let's see what we have done okay this is what we've done let's turn off editing to see how it looks like okay it's not perfect the image should be probably high up you can edit the text again you can play around the bullets but these are some of the things you can do to to spice up your your front page I hope that has helped to give some idea okay the design is not perfect it can always be improved but it's a good start and you can play around but make sure your images are light usually less than 100k uh, and also the size of the image is, is, is uh, as I mentioned uh, is important too many pictures will slow down the loading of the page and will frustrate students but a few p pictures can spice up the learning environment so basically what we're showing you how to enter text format text insert list and insert image 
Thank you very much. I'm out of here.